Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to Cars, Golf, and Cigars. I'm your man, Kadon Sterling. Thank y'all so much for being here. We all gathered here today, people, for all my brothers of the leaf, for all my sisters of the leaf, to do another cigar review. And today, we are doing a review on the Sons of Anarchy cigar. Now, of course, a lot of y'all know about this from the television show. Um, I just found out about it. I'm gonna be honest with y'all about it, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is from the Black Crown actual brand, uh, um, the company, and this is the Son of Anarchy series cigar that they had put out. It's not a new cigar. From what I understand, this has been around probably about seven years already, six, seven years. Um, I've never tried it. I heard about it, I made some calls, one of my partners said, I got one, I'm gonna send it to you. And um, here it is. So, it's the Black Crown. And like I said, it's from Black Crown. And it's the Son, Son of Anarchy series, the Redwood original. I think it's cool. See me? I'm a Skulls, I'm a Skullhead kind of guy. You know what I mean? As you can tell, I got my man Bronson with me. All right, that's my favorite ashtray, my Skullhead ashtray. I dig anything that got to do with Skullheads. So, just the thought of... um. The way they actually have this wrapped up, I dig it. I hope I like it as a cigar, and let's find out, all right? Now, one thing, let's go about the things we do know about it, all right? We do know that it's a Nicaraguan, Dominican relationship when it comes to the actual leaf. Um, I believe it's also an Ecuadorian filler. If I'm wrong, somebody definitely tell me. I know it's not a Habano. It's not, it's not, I think it's a, a cario. Not a Hubano, but a cario, which basically just means the seeds come from different parts and get planted someplace else. And Habano seeds, most of the time, is Cubans and they get planted in Dominican Republic. And it's, you know, it goes back and forth about it. Once again, I always put out there, I am not a tobaccoist, I'm a cigar enthusiast. So there's a difference. Now, if you want to learn everything about it, like you learn in school, then I think you should study that, you know? Big shout out to all my people from NOLA, NOLA Cigar Club, all right? You know, all my people from Dallas, from their cigar club, Atlanta Cigar Clubs, all right, which is my people personally, you know what I mean? Big shout out to all of them. Um, Stogie the Bear from Chicago, what's happening, man? What's going on with you, you know? So, my man Noah out in Chicago, what's happening, brother? What's good, Square? And to all my Eastern stars and to all my squares out there, you know what I'm saying? All my Masonic brothers, man. Y'all already know what it is. Travel, 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 travel light, you know? So, let's cut this and let's find out about it, all right? Let's, let's get right into it. I'm not one of them dudes that like one of them big cuts, but this is not one of those kind of cigars where you can actually do a punch. You can just tell automatically from the wrapping it's, it's aged. And I kind of like it because it's not perfect. Like, if you really, really look at it, it's kind of lumpy. <laughs> it's not rolled perfectly, you know? It's a Maduro. It's a five by 54. So without further ado, let's get right into it. It definitely has an age taste to it um, from the first two or three pulls. It's a hard pull, so we're going to burn it a little bit more. We're going to try to get this first third out the way so we can definitely see where the flavor is at.
it's heavy, but it's not overwhelming. Price wise, this is definitely, I believe, priced at around five to seven dollars. You're gonna go to a lot of places that's gonna upcharge you on something like this, probably five more dollars. Some places may charge you ten, but it's not a doesn't seem to be like a true, true ten dollar stick. It's a strong, it's a strong stick. It's definitely the Maduro, it, it, it's, it's strong. It, it has this, I don't wanna say chocolate flavor, but it definitely has an age flavor. Today I'm actually gonna have to blend this right here. Hey, 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 to the brown. You already know, we are gonna do some Crown XO with this and blend it with that. It has a real earthy, 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 earthy feel to it. That much I can say. It's an earthy feel. This is an acquired taste. This is um, this is definitely for the people, <coughs> excuse me, that do not enjoy infused cigars. That's not what this is. This is um, this is yeah, Sons of Anarchy. This this right here smokes and feels like you should be in a dirty cigar bar, not a lounge, but a bar. All right, this is one of them that I could tell that, that I probably wouldn't do on a regular. Not for me, not for my taste. But it's not terrible, but this is definitely for someone who is um, a heavier cigar smoker, you know, much heavier. This is a heavy stick. Aroma wise, it's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. True, the tobacco on this is aged as well, but it's been aged right. Now I'm feeling and tasting a little bit of pepper, um, a little bit of pepper, but still very earthy, very, very earthy, man. Like like you almost could taste the dirt on it, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, from the leaf itself, you know what I'm saying? So it depends. Some people love that. Some people love it. But most importantly, what I'm concerned with is everybody loving cars, golf, and cigars. And thank y'all so much for watching the channel. And um, thank y'all so much for checking out all my episodes. I really, really appreciate that. We're coming up close to our 10,000 subscribers. And um, we're trying to do 10,000 more before the year is out. So hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. The way you build a brand, people, is by word of mouth. So tell everybody that you know about this channel. Cars, golf, and cigars, man. For real. Let's keep hitting this right here. Timeline on something like this. Hour. This is an hour stick at the at the medium. An hour stick. Easily. Now, what I would give it a compliment to, I really do like the design on the wrapping, on their binder here. I really, really love that. I, I mean, established 1967. They got tire marks on the back of the of the actual of the actual label, which I think is dope. You know, for all my motorcycle people, shout out to Mogul Golf 
apparel and also shout out to mogul riders which is a a crew collectively group of people that i that i founded and i started a couple of years back for people that love their toys and people that love to network so mogul riders is strictly for people that love their motorcycles love their cars but most importantly they love to network they love to come together and say let's ride out on sunday but on monday let's talk business and that's what mogul riders is about so anybody that has a certain bike or a certain vehicle and have their own business that's that's the qualification you got to have some kind of business that you run i don't care if you have a nine to five still but you have to be somewhat of an entrepreneur to be a part of mogul riders and if you are interested email me mogulriders at gmail.com send me pictures of the vehicle or your motorcycle and also send me a brief description of what you do and what your business consists of you know and let's talk about it because we want to branch out we want to start chapters all over the country so anybody's interested let me know but this is one of the main reasons why i was very excuse me interested and drawn to this because i'm, I'm a motorcycle guy as well i love motorcycles and I love the TV show Sons of Anarchy. You know what I'm saying? So I thought that was a great, great concept. You know what I mean? But I'll be honest with you, I'm not sure if I love this cigar. Y'all know me. Y'all know when I love a cigar, I talk about it like, ooh. This right here, I really do love how it look. Visually, it's appealing to me. Um, Taste-wise, it's not really my taste. It's not really my thing. But with cognac, anything's possible. So, this is going to take entirely too long for me to actually burn through this. Thank y'all so much for being here. Cars, golf and cigars. <clears throat> if anybody's interested in this Sons of Anarchy uh, Black Crown cigar, my personal recommendation is if you're into a more heavier Maduro stick, then this is right up your alley. Um, you definitely want to blend this with cognac absolutely this is not even for coffee you got to you got to really hit the brown with this if this is your thing this will work out for you definitely an hour long stick while you in the while you in the lounge and if you really have a, a palate for more pepper and more earthy tones of tobacco then this is a stick for you absolutely um for me personally my personal rate of one to ten this is probably about a four and a half for me it may be different for somebody else. This is just my opinion. But either way, that's how I feel about it. All right? I'm going to finish this off because I'm not disrespectful. And I like to finish the stick when I start it. You watching this, check out the other episodes. Scroll down. Cars, golf, and cigars. Check out everything that we got going on, man. All right? Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here.